What's up, YouTube? It's Dog here, DN Dual Commentary. We got German! Exclamation point, all caps German for the win. And then CRMS041. So, um, so yeah, so he's going first. He opened up the first turn Yamato like a boss, because, you know, opening opening first turn Yamato is so easy in Bujins. Like, if Tinky went to one, then that's just. That's just two less t copies or two less cards that could get him first turn Yamato. So I mean, I mean Konami, like you don't, you, I'm not even, I did, like on my balance video, I didn't even touch touch any Bujin cards. Like I'm, I'm being nice and I'm not even touching any Bujin cards. Just put Tinky to one. I mean, now would I like Bujin cards to get touched? I mean, sure. I mean, I think is Yamato. I don't even know. I know Yamato's getting reprinted in like Astro Pack, the new Astro Pack, I think. And then I know Yamato's getting reprinted. Well, I think it's getting re reprinted in a tin. I don't know if that's real or not. I don't know. So, I mean, if Yamato gets reprinted, Bujins are going to be so cheap. Because, you know, no, all the Bujin cards are pretty much cheap. Like, literally. Like, hair is a dollar. Hair is like two dollars. Crane is a freaking rare. Turtle's a common. Um, Mikazuchi is actually really cheap. It's like a freaking seven dollar card right now. And then, like, Sasanowo and... What is a dumb card called? Uh, Kagasuchi. Like, they're cheap, too. So, I mean, it's just, it's just the Yamatos that are expensive. And is this Evil Swarm? Well, you can pretty much say that this guy won because... You know, have you, have you ever legitly seen Evil Swarm 2-0 Bujins? I mean, I've seen Evil Swarm beat Bujins, and that's only when they go first and they open really good, but... Like, do you ever legitly see Evil Swarm, like, 2-0 Bujins? Like... The, like, that's what, that's pretty much Bujin's best matchup is Evil Swarm. Like, just everything about their deck just counters Evil Swarm. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm just saying. So I would love to see how German is going to try to win this one because I'm, I'm putting all my money on Crimson here, whatever his name is, thinking, well, I mean, if you have a Lance, activate it. If you have a Infection, activate it and banish that. Oh, or you could Soul Drain and Chain Thunderbird. I mean, that's decent. Or he could just Chain MST. I mean, you're still going to Chain Thunderbird because cause you can. <laughs> but, I mean, still you're going to, like, you're, stu you're still going to have to deal with a Crane because obviously he's going to have a Crane. And, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what's taking so long to kill it. I mean, what are you going to do? Spell Veiler? Dark bribe it. Dark bribe the MST. Go ahead. He could full house. Full house. Full house against Bujins. Uh, I don't know. Depends. I mean, if this is the decree build, full house won't do nothing. But full house right now would be really nice. Okay, he's gonna chain light mirror. That's decent. He could chain hair. Just to get a live carnation. I mean, I don't know. But dang, all the side. This must be game two or something. Dang, another MST. My god. The sacking is so real. This card is so old, but dang, is it so useful. I swear to god. So, um, hopefully, like, since Crimson went first, this much must mean that this is at least game two or three. Hopefully, it's game two. I mean, I would, lo I would love to see Evil Swarms, you know, pull this out, you know, in game three. So hopefully, like that would be that would be so awesome. But if it is game three, then you pretty much can call this game over. I mean, I'm just saying. So there goes Turtle, and you got in Indestructible Yamato, with four cards to work with. And I mean, I don't really know. Like, it's <laughs> oh, actually, no, yeah, Thunderbird comes back. So, I mean, that's not gonna do that. Oh wow, Heliotrope. Okay, that that could do something. That can bait out a hair, and it can bait out a crane. So, I mean, I guess that's decent. So, I guess I would attack with Heliotrope first? I guess? I don't know. And, yeah, that's exactly what he does. And Crimson gonna have to waste some of his cards here. Or has to use, not really waste. He's gonna have to use some of them. Damage step, he might... Oh, Hannes would be so nice right now. It's not even funny. I mean, why wouldn't he have the Hannes? I'm just saying. And... 
he says K, or he could Lance. Well, that, that definitely gets the job done, too. I'm just saying. So, he could Lance that, and then he could just Crane, and then that gets rid of everything. And he's just going for it, so. I mean, that's pretty much a Crane in hand, I'm just saying. You just get, like, come on, just discard the crane. Like, I hate when Bujin players, like, say damage step, sub step this, sub step that, damage calc. It's like, just discard the freaking crane, I swear to God. Like, it's so annoying. But he's thinking, I mean, if you have to waste, oh, he's going to Malcat. Wow, well, that, that gets rid of problematic cards. And he's going to wiretap, so it's a one for one. Still got... You know, have the job done, I guess. <laughs> so, is the attack still going to go through? Battle step, he's thinking. He's, okay, he's just going to hair. And that gives away he does not have a crane. That's kind of interesting. I would think he would at least add one or something. I mean, I don't, I don't really know. <laughs> Sad face. And he had a crane. Wow. So he used up his hair for... I guess it was for debunk. I guess he was afraid of debunk. Really? He was afraid to debunk that much? He's really afraid of... Well, he did have a crane, because, you know, why wouldn't he have the crane? I'm just saying. But, oh, um, wow. So he just... That hair was kind of a waste. Well, the problem is, like, no one plays Mirror Force, and that's, like, you're only legit out now. Or you could just... If you're, if you're really afraid of it, you could just end and ditch another hair. Or you could just activate Tanky. <laughs> so, I mean... He, he activated that hair because he was afraid of debunk. Because, you know, if that debunk would have went off, well, that would have been a complete change of plan. So I guess that was, you know, the reason. And he's just going to play it slow, attack for 1900. He could have went for game, but, you know, Torrential Tribute is a card. You know, Mirror Force is a card. And, <laughs> and there is the Mirror Force. The kids, enjoy. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. He is Crimson's like, are you kidding me? Who in God's name plays that? So he's gonna special summon Mikazuchi, attack for two K, and is that gonna go through? And it is. So it's gonna put him at eight hundred. And at this point, it's. I mean, top deck war time. Dark hole. Wow. Dang. Dang. That is. It's funny how German is still technically, you know, kind of in this. I mean, it, it, that's just hilarious. I mean, just, like I'm saying, like, Bujins can top deck any monster and just beat down. But, I mean, this is so funny. He had the Mirror Force and the Dark Hole. I mean, you would, you would think German would be out of this, like, minutes ago. And he's going to infect... Ah, oh, it's game. Dang it. So, that was the match. That was game three. So, you got to see game three, but, I mean, whatever. German put up a good fight. I do admit, he did put up a good fight. But, you know, Bujins just too good. So, anyway, guys, thank you for watching.